Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel Agla Same Schools. Today in this video I will be covering chapter 12 of class 5 of environmental studies that is what if it finishes. So let's discuss question and answers. Now turn to page number 111. Look at the picture and write. Question number 1 says What are the different kinds of vehicles that you can see? Answer is you can see following vehicles like bus, car, motorcycle, scooter, auto rickshaw, cycle, etc. Further, question number 2 says what do you think they need as fuel? Answer is cycle does not need fuel, but another vehicles shown here need petrol and diesel as fuel. So this you can see in your book. Further, question number three says, which of the vehicles do you think give off smoke? Put a red mark on those. So the answer is bus, car, auto rickshaw, motorcycle, scooter, etc. Give off smoke. So mark all vehicles except cycle. Further, tell. Here, question number one says, do you ride a bicycle? If yes where do you go answer is yes i ride a bicycle i use a bicycle for going to school the playground and the market for the question number 2 says how do you come to school answer is i come to school by bicycle for the question number 3 says how do your family members go to work from home answer is my father goes by car My mother goes by bus or auto rickshaw and my uncle goes by motorcycle. For the question number 4 says what problems can we have from smoke coming out of vehicles? Answer is the smoke from vehicles can cause coughing, headache and lung disease. Further turn to page number 113. Find out and discuss. Here question number 1 says which states in India have oil fields? Answer is Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Andhra Pradesh. Further, question number two says, besides oil, what else is found deep inside the earth? Answer is, besides oil, many minerals are found deep inside the earth. For example, iron, copper, gold, etc. Now turn to page number hundred and fourteen. Write. Question number one says. What all can vehicle run on? Answer is vehicle can run on petrol, diesel, CNG, LPG battery, and solar energy. Now, question number two says, what kinds of problems will we face if the number of vehicles keep on increasing? For example, more traffic on the road. Talk to your elders and write about it. Answer is if the number of vehicles keeps on increasing, it would lead to many problems like increased traffic on the road air pollution noise pollution accidents etc for the question number 3 says manju said why does not everyone use a bus what do you think why don't people travel by buses answer is buses are overcrowded and hence people want to avoid them poor people prefer bicycle in order to save money rich people use car and bikes for convenience now question number 3 says suggest some ways to deal with the problems arising out of the growing number of vehicles answer is first people should prefer public transport like buses trains metro trains etc second people should use a car pool that is sharing a car with colleagues now turn to page number 115 find out question number 1 says What is the price of petrol and diesel in your area? Answer is in my area the price of petrol is 68 and that of diesel is 45. Now question number 2 says why are the prices of petrol and diesel going up? So the answer is the production of petrol and diesel is limited and consumption is increased day by day. That is why the prices of petrol and diesel are going up. Further question number 3 says In one month how much petrol and diesel is used in your home what is it used for answer is in my home about 50 liter of petrol and 10 liter of diesel are used 
petrol is used for convenience and diesel is used for generator further turn to page number 119 let's discuss what we have learnt question number 1 says Imagine that the company has given you a chance to design a new vehicle like minibus. What kind of vehicle would you design? Write about it and draw a picture and color it. So the answer is I will design a vehicle which is environmentally friendly. I will run on solar power. The vehicle will be disabled friendly. Children and elderly should be able to easily access the vehicle. Further question number 2 says While making the design what did you plan to take care of first old people answer is low floor and seat belts second children answer is low floor closed door grill on windows third those who cannot see answer is tactile sensors at gates and on grab handles near seats further question number 3 says make a poster with a message on saving fuel Write a slogan too. Where would you like to put up this poster? Answer is slogan. Save oil and save money. And I will put up this poster near petrol filling stations. So here I have covered all the question of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCERT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Sim Schools. and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health